Research at the University of Queensland is now enabling experts to predict the start of the paralysis tick season. This has the potential to save many dogs and cats from becoming unwell or even dying. So I headed to Brisbane to meet with Professor Stephen Barker to learn a bit more. So Stephen, you've got some recent research. What have you discovered about this paralysis tick? Well, ticks are a threat to dogs and cats all year round, as you know, but they're particularly a threat during the season of tick paralysis. And the season of tick paralysis varies down the coast of Australia. Okay. So we've discovered and been able to document accurately that the season of tick paralysis in North Queensland, in Cairns and Innisfail, for example, starts in August. Okay. Whereas in South East Queensland, it starts in September. Mm -hmm. And in uh, Sydney, Northern Beaches of Sydney, it starts in October. And so the climate and the weather is really important here. And we can predict when the season of the tick season will start when you need to be really vigilant and protecting your pets with products but also checking the pet for ticks and keeping them on the path and so on. And furthermore we found that we can predict how bad the tick season is going to be okay. from the weather. If it's a hot and dry summer the female ticks die and those that even those that can lay eggs their eggs may die or the larvae will die. They're okay. very vulnerable to hot, dry conditions. So even if people aren't living in those areas, their dog or cat's not immune to it because a lot of people like to travel with their pets. Well, indeed. And when people travel, it's often during the summer and yeah. the spring, which is the tick season. Mm. So you really need to protect your dog if you're going to a ticky area like yes. Shire of East Gippsland or indeed anywhere along the coast in New South Wales and Queensland because there are ticks there all year round. I would imagine this is a bit of a problem if their dog or cat gets the paralysis tick, they go home to Adelaide where the vets aren't even thinking about it could be that if something's wrong with their dogs or cats, so we need to address that. There are quite a few sad cases of when a dog picked up a tick yeah. on the east coast of Australia and then the, went, the family went back to Melbourne, even South Australia and even Perth. Yeah and had a tick and showing all the signs of tick mm. paralysis. But the vet, not surprisingly, didn't think yeah. that and probably thought it was a snake bite, didn't treat it for ticks and so the, the, the yeah. dog dies or becomes very, very unwell before they find the tick. Yeah, radio. So what can we do then to protect our pets all year round? Well, certainly if you're going to a ticky area, mm. you need to protect your pets. And I would say even further, keep an eye on them. And if the voice changes on the dog or yes. the dog looks a bit unhappy, or there's something just not quite right, start looking for a tick. Yeah. And when you're in any place where there are ticks, keep the dogs on the path. Okay. If there's no grass or no vegetation, there are no ticks. All right, so making sure we check our pets as well for any ticks, making sure we keep them on the straight and narrow path, and also making sure that they're protected all year round. And the dog on a leash. So it can't... Dog on leash as well. By using a monthly NextGuard Spectra Chew, you can have peace of mind that your pet is protected all year round. Visit the NextGuard Spectra website to learn more.